In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a hyper-realistic banana cake. Starting with the Madeira Love Cake, I'm just going to cut it down the length to split it into two. Now using a real banana as a reference guide, I'm going to gently and carefully carve this cake, trimming away little by little until I have the desired shape. I'm now coating the cake in a firm ganache. I'm smoothing the ganache as much as possible and then I'll place it in the fridge so it can set. I've coloured the sugar paste with a bit of melon and lemon and lime. These are sugar flare colours. I'm taking care to cover the cake neatly so that there's no creases and no folds in the paste. I've trimmed the excess paste away and now I'm just going to scoop up the banana and smooth the paste underneath. I'm trimming away the excess paste and then I will use a silicone tool just to smooth all the creases out and make it as neat as possible. And now I'm using the smoother to define the shape of the banana.
To make the tip, I'm using brown flour paste and I'm using scissors just to rough up the surface and then I'll place that into the end of the, the cake and I'll just allow it to sink into the icing. To create the stem, I'm using the sugar paste, but I've added a little bit of Tylo powder to it, just to firm it a little bit more so it holds its shape. The cocktail stick will help support it and keep it in the right position. I'll now blend the paste together and smooth out the join. I'll create some detail now into the end of the stem just to make it look more realistic. I'm adding a small piece of marzipan, so it's natural coloured marzipan and creating texture with the palette knife. I'm just adding a little bit more definition now to the general shape of the banana. I'm using the silicone tool to help me do this. I've got to admit, I found the colouring a little bit tricky um, to get a realistic colour. I used melon, autumn leaf and a tiny little bit of bitter lemon. However, it still proved to be a little bit too dark. So once I'd painted it on, I used um, pure alcohol to remove a lot of the paint. To mix up the paint for the detail, I've used Nookin Brown, chocolate, and a little bit of black powder mixed with clear alcohol and I'm using um, a very fine brush to just add this detail. I'm using a riper banana as a guide just so I can get a little bit more creative with this detail now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this. If you have any suggestions for more hyper-realistic cakes, then please leave your comments below.